Hi everybody. Uh, now I will show you how to create a um, SubG server with uh, Google Map as a background map. Now from the first, we have to add the shape file into the desktop. Okay. Now you can look. This is the shape file of the world, and uh, the coordinate system is uh, WGS84 latitude longitude. Then next, we have to select the other different uh, for the Google Map coordinate system. So now we open the folder, and this folder will be um, in here. When you install the SuperG server, program file SuperGeo server API Google Map. Okay. Now we select uh, WGS84 Google's. Click OK. Then now uh, we have to assign another coordinate to layers. Now you can see this is layers. And uh, tap the coordinate system. You select, then browse. Now we select the Google Mercator. Okay, this is the projection name. So we select, then click OK. And now we zoom to the there, so you can see the map after projected. Okay, this is the projected uh, world map, just like this. So we now we uh, save the file SGD to the C drive, and we create a new folder. That's just a name um, like a GM1, and we save the project file as one. Okay, number one. Let me close it. Okay, next we have to publish the third service. Okay, so we select uh, SuperGeo and uh, select to server. If you are the first time to use this one, uh, SuperGeo server, you have to run the post installation. Okay, you just uh, click setup provider. When you see this right now, that means you haven't set up well. Okay, you just click a setup provider and install, then click, click start. Okay, now we have the SuperG server service. So we can, um, now we are ready to publish the map service. Now we go to manager. And maybe one or two seconds, you will see a login screen. Okay, now we log in the username and password. Then we log in. Yeah, and we select a publish uh, service. And now you can see the folder, the subfolder public. Okay, this is the previous uh, subfolders here. And for Google Map, uh, you want to, uh, as a background, you have to create a subfolder here. But now we cannot delete by this way. So we have to, now I show you how to delete the exist subfolder. You just select public, then select the right, the service, and delete it. Now I just delete the subfolder public. Okay, now this is a default resource. And now we new a subfolder named public. P U B L I C. Okay. In our case, then click OK. Then click public. And click new. I mean, I want to uh, add a new main service. Then type in the service name as a GM1, GM1. And here, document. You have to type in the full project pass and file name. So I go to my computer. Go to the C drive, GM1, and select 1. Okay, I copy it. Then add a slash with a 1 dot SGD. Okay, this is a full pass to publish the service. I copy it, then pass on document line here. Then click OK. 
just a few seconds, you will see a new service here. And click config. Check on use check uh, cache that you define below. Okay. Now, next we have to uh, define the Google Map scale. So now we can refer to the help, server help, server G server help. And we select the integrating with other platform. Okay, now we select the overlaying Google Map on SubG server. Click the, okay, click this chapter, publishing map cache service. Now this is a Google Map scale. So we copy it and paste here. Click add. And just keep copy the scale number and paste. Because this is the Google Map scale. Okay. We copy and paste and copy the scale numbers and paste here. Click add. Okay. Actually, there are maybe 20 or 21 scale here. So we just, uh, for the practice, I just uh, do the six or five scales here. Okay. Actually, you can, uh, you should uh, keep on the copy and paste the Google map scale here. Now, but just for the practice, I just uh, show you the process. Okay, now we go back to the program files, Super Geo, server, ground API, and uh, Google Map. You can see some additional file here, including the project file and uh, this text file. This text file tell you, you should input the scale, the boundary, and origin. Okay, this is original like, uh, for the Google Map. So you copy this one as the X and paste here. And copy the second one and paste in Y text box. Yeah, make sure. You have to make sure the two number X and Y is the same as the origin in the text file. And Click OK. Yeah, just make sure again. Uh, as for the boundary, I think uh, you can uh, don't have to change. But here you change the width as and the height as two five six, and click OK. Now we go back home and click create my GIS web application. Give a name, GM one and check on the support map cache. And you click next, the title is the same, like a GM1, and check on all the options on the web applications, and click finish. Okay, now you have a service, you have a website, and next one, we have to change, we have to add something in the web page. Okay, next we open the computers, Right click, uh, select man, uh, management, then you can see the IIS, okay? Right click, management, select IIS, that means uh, internet information service. And click the sites. We just check out if the website is created or not. So now you can see uh, GM1 here. This is the web application, website, and select the uh, Content view, right click, and we open with the uh, notepad. Okay, notepad. This is very easy to use the uh, text editor. And now this is the web web content. So now we find uh, some resource to add something. Please open the server help. Again, then we go back to integration with other platform. Check on this one and check on adding Google Map, the last uh, section. 
Then you see the blue, the blue lines code. Copy it. Okay, right, right click, copy it. And uh, paste here, okay? Press enter, enter, and paste, okay? And we erase the, we delete the empty lines. And we go back to the document, see the next. We have to also add this line. This line means I want to add the Google Map. So you copy and paste. We have to paste before we add SuperG server layer here. Okay. We paste here and uh, do some modification to look more perfect. And file, save. So now we do everything for import the Google Map with SuperG server map. Now we right click browse map cached dot htm to check out. Okay, now you can see the first layer is SuperG server layer. The second layer is a Google map. Okay, we zoom in to check out if it, it match or not. We turn off the first layer and you can see the Google map. Turn on again, you can see SuperG server can work with Google map. And we pan around, okay, pan around. You can still use the SuperG server function like a zoom in, like a um, pen, okay? Even you want to identify, you can click the first layer, identify, like Taiwan, click here. You can see the attribute. Of course, this is a SuperG server's layer, so you can acquire or do something. Okay, this is the demo for the SuperG server import Google Map. Thank you.